the haunted camper. I'd always sought solace in the tranquility of nature. So when life became overwhelming, I decided to embark on a camping trip to a remote woodland, hoping to find a temporary escape from the pressures of society. Little did I know that my journey would lead me to an encounter with pure terror, as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows across the forest. I parked my camper van in a secluded clearing. The towering trees embraced me with their skeletal branches, and the soft rustling of leaves in the wind seemed to whisper secrets that I could not decipher. A sense of unease settled in, but I shrugged it off as my imagination running wild. Nightfall descended, shrouding the woodland in darkness. It was then that I heard it the first eerie sound emanating from within my camper van. A door creaked open, followed by a resounding slam. My heart quickened its pace, and I glanced nervously at the van silhouette. How could this be happening? Trembling, I cautiously approached the vehicle, my footsteps barely audible against the forest floor. The door swung open, revealing an empty interior. No one was there. Yet, an unsettling presence lingered, taunting me from the shadows. Objects began to move on their own, shifting and tumbling as if guided by an invisible force. The hairs on the back of my neck stood on end. Whispers, soft and haunting, echoed through the empty camper van. The disembodied voices carried snippets of tortured pleas and ominous warnings. They chilled me to the bone, each syllable seeping into the core of my being. The spirit, trapped within the metal confines of the van, yearned for release, its malevolence palpable. Determined to survive the nightmarish ordeal, I resolved to uncover the van's chilling history. I delved into local legends and tales, desperate for any shred of information that could help me understand the entity's torment. It was then that I stumbled upon a tale of tragedy. A family who had met a grisly fate in their very own camper van, years ago, in the very same woodland. Driven by fear and curiosity, I continued my investigation. I visited the local library, poring over dusty archives and fading newspaper clippings. The story unfolded before my eyes. An unspeakable act of violence had stained the van with a lingering darkness. The malevolent spirit was born from the anguish and despair that once consumed the ill-fated family. Armed with this knowledge, I devised a plan. I returned to the camper van, my hands trembling as I carried a bundle of sage and a vial of blessed water. With great caution, I entered the vehicle determined to confront the vengeful spirit and offer it peace. I whispered words of solace and understanding, hoping to soothe its tormented soul. The atmosphere shifted as I performed the ritual, a surge of energy crackling through the air. The whispers grew louder, more desperate, and then abruptly ceased. Silence enveloped the camper van, and a sudden wave of calm washed over me. The malevolent presence had dissipated, leaving behind a lingering sense of relief, exhausted but triumphant. I stepped out of the camper van, taking in the serene beauty of the woodland once more. The dark secret that had plagued me was no more, and the forest seemed to sigh with contentment. As I left the remote woodland, I carried the memory of that haunting experience with me. It was a reminder of the thin veil between the realms of the living and the dead a testament to the power of the human spirit to face and conquer the horrors that lurk in the darkest corners of our world.